I have a confession, and I hope you all accept me for who I am. I'm a Doctor Who fan. I know, I know, I'm sorry, we're all degenerates. But because of that fact, I have a lot of Doctor Who merch. Specifically, I have a good amount of character options Doctor Who figures. There are people who have dedicated their lives to collecting every single one. I'm not one of those people, unfortunately, as much as I would love all of them. Just, you know, like how people have them just on the shelves at all times. I'm afraid mine is the kind of collection you keep in a box. But recently I was inspired, as I was for the Doctor Who merch video, by Jaden Animations, who ranked every single Puka doll. And it looked like a lot of fun, so I have all of my figures out on the floor. In fact, I can take a picture of it. It looks hilarious. I have emptied my shelves behind me to show F for the worst ones, B for the bouquet ones, A for the A, good job, and S for the champions. S champions. You like this, by the way? I did this as a joke, just to have in the background of the Stolen Doctors, I think, but it kind of looked too cool to take down. But now I have to move you to make room for toys. <laughs> Let's start with the big stuff first. Let's go with the TARDISes. Chronological order, I have this one here from the, I believe, Fourth Doctor Regeneration set. This is the only officially released classic box I own. I've broken the door. It's fine, it's supposed to do that, I think. There we go. And you know what? It's a damn good box. The one downside is the squished roof. I don't like the flat roof. It makes it look real weird. So I think that is an easy B. I'm putting that in B. Next, uh, it's a controversial pick because it is not an officially released box. This is Jude Lavis's Eighth Doctor uh, box that he very kindly made for me. Sound, lights, all that good stuff. And let's be honest, even if it wasn't a custom, it's going in S. Like that, that's, that's where it lives. It's up there with the 13th Doctor's box as just being the best ones, at least in my opinion, but I think that is a fairly popular opinion. If you disagree, let me know in the comments as we move on to the nostalgia box. <laughs> I love this box, uh, the 9th and 10th Doctor's TARDIS. I like the weathering on this one, especially. Uh, I really need to have a closer look at it. I guess it also counts as John Hurt's War Doctor box, but meh. Over time though, I don't know. I, it might go in B? I might change my mind on that later. It's a B or an A. The only thing keeping it from A currently is this one, which is also a nostalgia box for me, the Smith and Capali era box. I believe this is specifically like series five based. I love this box. The sense of John's ambulance sign just makes it look so much different. I love the windows. That's a big detail. I like the, uh, the detail of that. Uh, the light on the top. It is a chunky boy. I believe it is the biggest box and people have issues with that. I don't. I'm putting that in an easy A tier. So that is all the TARDIS boxes I have, but not the only TARDIS things that I have. I mean, we all know where this is going, don't we? The 9th and 10th Doctor's console. It's amazing, the fact that it lights up and moves. Like, how is that, how is that anything but S? It's a bit dusty, ignore that. In fact, the dust kind of makes it more accurate. And the fact that I've seen this in person, like the actual TARDIS console time rotor thing, thank you, James of Madame Who Swords. Oh yeah, nostalgia's real. Nothing in F yet, we're doing well. Next is this, obviously not as good as the 11th Doctor's console, but I have indeed gushed about it. But regardless of it not having sounds or lights, it's still a damn good console. The detail on display is truly phenomenal, even though some of the stickers are coming off a smidge. I do have the scanner as well. I took it off to make a time fracture set for myself that I didn't use for anything, but it was fun. I also love the beveled glass of the time rotor on this one. As much as I love this and the fact that it moves, on purely, like, a, with your eyes, this is the better looking one, especially in the actual console itself. I'd say this is an easy A, which makes sense because it's with uh, its friend here. So that's all the TARDIS stuff I have, but not not all. Um, before we end this sort of segment, we have this, which was always a weird choice, but I love it. For years I had an actual bit of wire wrapped around the top and I could just dangle it. Uh, I believe I did that in my parody character options uh, skit that I did. I'm Rose and I like chips. Wait, that's Bill. You did it first! Uh. I love that the door opens, there's even details inside, like you can see the button and like colours and stuff, which is unnecessary detail if we're being honest. They went hard <laughs> on this one for no reason whatsoever and for the pure audaciousness of that, 
may be controversial, but that's going up it. And before we move on to Daleks, I have one more. For years I only had one panel of this, but now I've got all of them. The full Pandorica. I don't have the seat, I'd love to have the seat, uh, but I have just a full box and it looks really cool. Although the CDs, I get it, it's a smart idea and I like that. And I'm sure whatever's on this, Doctor Who and the Giant Robot Part 2, Doctor Who and the Autumn Invasion, Part 2 and 1, etc. Maybe they're a good listen, but I don't know, it always just made it look a bit cheaper. So that's going in B. That's going down. That might be downgraded to F later. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Now, moving on to the Daleks. I don't have a lot of classic Daleks. I only have two. This is one of the rare sets I kept the backdrop from the box just because it looks cool and it makes for a nice display piece, but I'll put it down for now. Now, I haven't actually watched the story. I haven't watched a lot of Arnold, but I believe this is the Dalek Invasion of Earth set. <laughs> God damn, dude. These classic Daleks do look cool. I go back and forth about the thick bums. I mean, your boy likes them thick. Don't really like the dishes on the back. The more I look at them, I always display them front on, which is their best look. But like the profiles are a bit weird with the dish. Also the eye stalks are a bit funny. They're okay. They're going in B. They're going down here. I could do better, Mr. Daleks. That's all the classics I have. I'd love to have the special weapons or the um, white and gold Imperials, but alas, I do not. So moving on to new series. Starting off with another one I have to set for, the Dalek one. This is supposed to be the remote control one, so I don't know if it counts, so I'm just gonna count this guy as the standard bronze. I have a few bronze, most of them are damaged in some way, like this one doesn't have a gun. This sort of heavier metal one doesn't have one of his lights. And one of them, I burnt. for a cool prop. <laughs> they translated it really well. It does look metal, even though it's clearly not. Yeah, the head spins all the way around. Uh, the gun and the uh, plunger moves a pretty decent amount. The eye stalk, of course, on this one does go up and down. I think this is an easy A. Easy A. Easy, easy, easy A. So there he goes, just there. But that is, as you just saw, this one is fully complete. Why didn't I show him off? Because he's the Series 3 variant, of course. Silly boy. It is a unnecessary figure. But I think it's cool that it exists. Also, the detail of just the scratches and the, even the weird little B there. I don't know how much that makes sense, but it's a funny figure I like, and again, the articulation is great. I assume it's got the right little insignia there. I have no idea. <laughs> but I think he lives in A as well. Actually, eh, does he though? No, let's let's downgrade him to B, because the unnecessariness of it doesn't quite warrant it being up here. But he can join his classic friends. Backpedaling to series two is Dalek Sec. And that's an easy A. Eh? The shiny black design, how do they not do more colour variants of the new series Dalek? Why are they all bronze? Like, Time Fracture had specifically, like, the classic grey and blue colour scheme on the new series Dalek, and it looked amazing. I think they also did a figure of that. Easy A. Easy A. Might even upgrade to, to S, if I'm being honest. But that might be because of how much it looks great in person, like, the actual prop as well. Moving up to series four, we have the Dalek Supreme, and oh, god damn, as much as I love the white paradigm, this is the superior Supreme. Although, the eye stalk has always been very flimsy, I've, I've blue tacked it in, you can't really tell from a distance. And also this, what's that? Look at that, nothing. Maybe it's been worn off over time, so I won't hold it against it too much. Most of this will be purely on looks. He's going up there with this. He's going up there. I love him. He's a good look. He's a good looking guy. And then before we move on to the paradigm, Dave, of course. Dave looks great. The head's a bit stiff. Uh, he's, of course, he's got his high fiving hand. I love the detail on the console like he has there. The, like the shiny ball. That's great. I very, he's very scuffed. <laughs> I think... I mean, I'm tempted for S, but I don't want to be too generous with the S. You know, I'm going to put him in A for now. That's where he's going to live for now. And again, with Dalek Sec, might get an upgrade to S tier. You never know. And no Fs! No Fs so far. So no far. So far. Oh, oh. Now, the Paradigm, I'm actually going to do them one at a time. In fact, we'll do them left to right as they appear in Victory. So starting off with the drone, he's good. It's a good drone. You know, Red's a good look for a Dalek. Uh, an easy B. Easy B. Orange. 
less a fan of the orange. It's a weird colour, I'll admit. They all look great together, but separately? The scientist on his own? I don't know. You're living me. You're living me for now. He's kind of skirting the lines, you know? White Supreme! You know what? We're bumping Sec up to S, and Supreme's going there in A. I think that's easy. Blue, on the other hand, Matt Smith was right with this being his favourite. Don't talk to me. And the Eternal! I want to love him. I do. I want to love him so much, but he's nothing. The Eternal ended up being nothing. But he does look cool. I like how his balls are different. You can quote me on that. So, you know what? You know what? He's gonna live over here. He's gonna live with, with this guy. Davros not upgraded yet. Davros isn't upgraded just yet. But he's gonna live there. <laughs> I don't know why I made the A shelf the smallest one. I didn't expect this many A's. That is it for the Daleks and the Tardises and the other weirdy bits, except for one. He needed his own special spot. You know him, you love him. The Drashic Ham Puppet. And this is living in A because he's the best! He's a flipping hand puppet! I don't know any other figure that would benefit this. It'd be funny if we had the beast from the Satan Pit. <laughs> Just like, ah, we're all to the beast! But S. He lives in S. That's where he belongs. He's gonna go higher than everyone else because he is definitively S. Moving on to the big box of figures and I'm actually very interested to see how this goes. I'm not gonna do this with any rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna go from what's on the top to what's on the bottom. Let's see how we go. I mean, we're starting off strong, aren't we, with Omega. Look at this frilly boy! You can show his ass. <laughs> Do you reckon this is what Omega's ass looked like on set? Or are they just taking a lot of creative license? But whatever it is, I don't care. Because, I mean, the fact that even, like, the head comes off like it does in the episode, like, it's clearly meant to do that as well. They went out of their way to use a different material to match the... They didn't just, you know, have, like, the Master. Here's a perfect example. They didn't just do what they did with the Master. Omega needed his special figure. So he's... he's easy S. Easy S. You think I'm being generous with the S's, but that's just because we started with the more impressive stuff. But as he's here, the Master! <laughs> He's supposed to have his little collar, of course, the Time Lord President Sash, but I believe I've put it on an Ood. I've never liked the cloak. I, I think it's weird. I don't like how the arms are different, even though it's clearly only supposed to be for, like, for that. Could they not have just used a cheap black fabric? Maybe that would look worse. I don't know. I'm not an expert. The hood looks fine. The face looks great. Never been a fan of this figure, so you know what? We've had our first F. Oh, and hello, mister! It's our first Doctor, Mr. Paul McGann. TV movie Paul McGann. Could have done with a bit more green, I feel. It's a good figure and it has his likeness. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but this figure is one of a few that just the head comes off way too easily and that annoys me. I do have a bit of nostalgia with this guy because of uh, Batman March's excellent eighth Doctor figure adventures. But yeah, he's, actually, he's okay. He's going in B. He's going in B. Could have done with a bit more green. Maybe it's accurate, I don't know, but I like, I like the green. Ah, here he is, K9. Now, K9's an excellent figure because they went the extra mile. They've given him the insides from School Reunion. That, like, again, it's the unnecessary details that I love the most. Like, that is fantastic. And he's got a little wheel spin. Woo! I think that's an easy, that's another easy S. I said it would go down from here, but no. K9, easy S. Let's see, Martha. Martha! Good likeness. Decent likeness to Freema. What is it with the companion figures? Like, Rose had this too. The, there's just an, a weird downgrade. I like the fact that the jacket's shiny. That's good. She's got the <laughs> she's got the weird bell-bottom jeans. No boots with the fur, though. Like, it's fine. It's fine. The hair's good. It's fine. It's me. It's a, it's a maybe, maybe a downgrade. Maybe. Rose was worse. Rose was worse. A Cyberman, and not just that. The Cyber Controller. Love this guy. Love this guy. The exposed brain, the different coloured eyes, the nipples. <laughs> if he had his chair, I mean, that'd be an S, but I think like, he might be another, he might be another S. Already S. God, I'm, am I just too generous for this? Well, we'll soon find out. Oot! He's missing a hand and he doesn't have a ball. Uh, I won't hold that against him though, but even with that, as much as I love the, the fact that he had a ball, if he had the ball, I would have put him in B. That's, that's just the facts. That's the facts. Oh, here's a fun one, the werewolf. Not a fan of his episode, but you gotta admit, he's pretty cool. Even though the articulation is so odd. But I guess I have to acknowledge that that's, that's kind of cool. They went out of the way to give him more articulation to make uh, posing him more fun. But I've never, I've, oh, God damn it, I've never liked this figure. It's too weird. I don't, it's just a wolf, isn't it? <laughs> they clearly put a lot of effort into this. 
but this is this is my list. <laughs> He's gonna sit in in F with the master. Pally! Another one I'm not a big fan of. I like how he has the red lining correctly. That's excellent. They did the details on the trousers very well. He's a lanky dude. Like, I don't know, he feels so much taller than most other figures. Maybe that's accurate. Maybe Capaldi's a giant, but that's weird. Face is pretty good. I don't know. I, uh, I'll be kind. I'll be kind and put him over here in, in B. He can live in B. He doesn't stand very well if memory serves, so if he free stands right now, he can stay in B. But if he falls, right in F. I don't make the rules. Oh wait, yes I do. Make a figure like this, make him a smidge shorter, give him the red velvet look from heaven sent, then we'll talk. Patrick Troughton! Face is good, face is good, costume's good, hair's good, no complaints. B, the mocks of Balhoon! F, oh, underhenge Cyberman, yeah, now we're talking. Oh, I dropped him. Love the detail on this one. All the scuffs, the centre bit being ripped out, the rust detailing. I never liked how the that he's got the copyright on his ass, but you know what? You know what? S! Rose Tyler! What's with her Barbie arms? What's that? Again, Rose and all the companions got such a downgrade. I mean, the shirt's good. Shirt's very good. Good detail. Okay likeness to Billy Piper. Hair's fine. It's just downgrade. Just a downgrade. Gonna go on F for those arms. Live it at those arms. Even Martha had articulation on the arms. Ooh, the mummy! Mummy! From Thomas Becker. Yes. I like that he came with the pot. The pot's in here somewhere. I will put him with the pot when I come across it. So I'm going to put that in... You know what? Controversial. I'm putting him in A. Mainly for the pot. Mainly for the pot. Good articulation. Good more articulation than Rose. I never saw the likeness in... Co like, who's that? That's, I don't think that's Colin Baker. Not even a young Colin Baker. But the costume saves it. They did an excellent job getting the details right on the coat. But you know what? It's not quite A, though. Because... That tassel, the weird one with the stars, don't like it, it's ugly. I mean, and also that waistcoat to be fair, but like, the coat I can forgive, the trousers, the shoes, I can forgive. Waistcoat, that, like, whatever you call it, ribbon, nah. You know what, I've gotta be more harsh, don't I? I've gotta be more harsh, he's going in F, he's going in F, he's going over here. Doesn't look like Colin, all this part, rubbish. F. Series 5 Smith, baby! Lot of nostalgia with this figure, I'll admit. But the detail on display, you can't deny. The hair, spectacular. The shirt, probably as good as you're gonna get it. It's got the lines, that's good enough. Tweed jacket, excellent. Articulation, excellent. The legs are a bit wonky, but I think that's just more accuracy. He's going up here. He's going in S. If you want to fight me on that, you can fight me on that. But I'm, I'm standing by my choice. Ecclesby. Jacket, fantastic. I like that it, you know, it's quite flappy. I like that. Quote me on that. He looks... Uh, not quite like Ecclesby. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with this figure though. Like, it's it's Eccleston. Can't deny that. But purely on the coat, it's at least B. Yeah, B. River! Or River. Or River. She had lots. Why is the weird line around the face? Why is that? But I like how she has the gun holster. That's nice. She had the blaster. It's in here somewhere. That's excellent. But it's let down by that weird thing, so it can only go to B. If it didn't have the gun in the holster, easy F, but... It does look like Alex Kingston, though. Can't deny that. Your standard Cyberman. Your standard Cybus Cyberman. I love the... Dis uh, it's a good design. It's an amazing design. Great articulation on this guy. Although a bit stiff over the years. But yeah, A. Easy A. Easy A. I have two Amy's. So I'm gonna do both of them. <laughs> Police woman Amy and Victory of the Daleks Amy. Again, this way Amy does have a lot of um, a lot of nostalgia because it came with the Smith one for me. But I'll be honest, look at them both now. This one looks a lot more like Karen Gillan than this one does. Like this one is a, is B, I'd say that's B. Again, companions get such a downgrade they can't stand up. Also, Karen's taller than that, isn't she? But this one, that's A. That's A. In fact, that might be an S. Honestly, the, the, the likeness is spectacular. Also, I mean, saucy. Yeah, that's going in A. That's going in A. She's not going to stand up very well, but she's going in A. With her boxes and the console. That's good. I want to meet the person who greenlit that design, by the way. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I want? Her in a sexy police outfit, yeah. That's what the kids want, I mean, yeah. Old man tenant. 
F are necessary. Uh, <coughs> okay, anyway. Uh, sorry, Tenant, but you're going in F because why? Also, it's very stiff. Ah, oh, Raggedy Smith! This was part of a twofer, I think, uh, back when the 11th hour was coming out. It was him and the suited, like proper suited uh, Smith and Tenant's gear. Love this one. Fanta Easy A. Easy A. Which makes sense. Tenant, class your classic brown suited tenant. Looks enough like tenant, passable. It's your standard tenant look. It's B. It's B. Passable. B. The Slickeen! Love this. Love this. Great articulation. Great just design. He's a shouty boy. Even his head turns all the way around. You can see his ass. That's an S. That's an S. Hardball, yes. Mm, I think the likeness is great. I love the hair. Best Hardball look. I want that waistcoat. I want that waistcoat. Even has the little monocle. That's adorable. What a detail. That's A. That's an A. Spacesuit Tenant. Yeah. I think I have the helmet in there somewhere as well. But I mean, that's fantastic. I love the orange spacesuit, even though it does just keep coming back for reasons I don't understand. It's got the little wrist communicator. You can make him like pretend to press it. Beep, beep, beep. That's a very natural thing for it to do. Again, Tenon's likeness is very good, and again, with the helmet, I'd say that's an S. With the helmet, easy S. It's even got the outie pockets. How cool is that? That's an S. The Cyberman disagrees. The Cybermus logo is there. I'll put them beside the Cybermus. <laughs> Zygon! Excellent likeness. Looks exactly like it does in the show. It's let down a smidge, though, by the legs. The feet, rubbish. And the legs, so wobbly, it, it never stands. Watch it stand now. But I'm sorry, man, you look great, but you're a B. And it stands! It wants to go in A so bad, it wants it, because it looks great. Sorry, not happening. I'm stubborn from childhood annoyance. Peter Davison, with the celery and all. The face is good, face is good. Hair's very flat, but I guess it did kind of look like that. Yeah, it's Peter Davison. B, B, Jonathan Petway. I like this figure a lot. I love the green jacket variant. I don't know if this is Time Warrior or some other variant. I never liked the boots. Did he really wear big Wellington boots that often to make it into the figure? I don't know. It's good. It's a great likeness, actually. But now I'm looking at it. The hair's very white. It's not that white, is it? Maybe in his later stuff. B. Easy B. Easy B. If it didn't have the willies, it would probably be an A. Just know that. Jonathan Petwee fan. John Sim Master. Now, if you... <laughs> this was stiff out of the box. I remember this. I've had this one for years. The likeness is... Fine. It's, it's B. It's B. I've, I've got no feelings towards you. You're, you're lucky you're not in F with your other master, to be fair, because I never liked you in, in my collection. In fact, you might even get downgraded, I don't know. Bra Ooh, hello. Bracewell's taking a Cyberman with him. Oh! Bracewell! Like this guy. I really like him. I like the fact that... I, I don't have this, unfortunately, but I loved the fact that you could swap his chest down for the bomb variant. Series 5, they went hard. Glasses always did look very weird, but I guess at this scale it's hard to do something that small. But the fact that they did it even with that little bit of perspex in there. You gotta commend. Likeness is good. I watched Fleabag recently, he's in that. Love that. Love the lab coat as well. Yeah, that's an A. That's an A. That's an A. Series 5 is winning for the A's. The one that came with the classic TARDIS, Tom Baker in John Pertwee garb. If I could just swap Pertwee's head for Tom Baker's head here, that's an S. But, doesn't look like Tom. The hair's good, but the face... Eh, the rest of it is so good. But the face, again, Swap that head for this, S. But as it is now, I mean, I like, oh, the head, the face is really, I'm sorry you're going in B. It was close to A, I nearly put it in A. Oh, I love this one, Vop Robot. The fact that you can shine a light in the top and it makes its eyes glow red, genius. Whoever came up with that, genius. Feel of it's really good. I like how it's kind of got the plump trousers and, and the floppy bits here, that's fun. Isn't it supposed to have like a little number here? Maybe a sticker or something? Or just part of the mold. It's even got a little wrist there. I haven't seen the episode, but that's an S. That's an S. Easy S. Up you go. Although I remember this one doesn't stand very well. Yeah. Dalek Sex is gonna just sort of lean him up with his gun like a threat. Silurian! Uh, this is, yeah, Series 5 Silurian. Excellent likeness. I always like these designs anyway. I don't know if that's controversial to say, but I, I think I prefer them to the classic ones. Well, I, I like them both on equal footing, really. Uh, she did come with the gun. That's in there somewhere. It's good. It's good. That's good. That's good. Is it an A? No, because the arms were always a bit flimsy. It's the same. I think that's just a thing with woman figures. That's sexist. But that's a B. That's a B. Yeah. I don't think I'll get flagged for that. That's, that's, that's a little cheeky cheeky. Ah, yes, Tom 
Baker with half a scarf. I broke. Uh, now this one's much better. I mean, I always loved this look anyway. I forget what episode this is from. But the blue coat, shocked he didn't wear that more often. The face sculpt, much better. Better face. I do like the hat. I don't. I can't wear hats. I don't look good in hats. Waistcoat's great. I want that waistcoat. That's an eight. Easy eight. He can live up there with the paradigm Dalek. Captain Jack Harkness. No penis. Not accurate. F. Does look like a young John Barrowman though. That's a B. Ah, Sylvester McCoy. That's another one like Paul McGann where the head just doesn't like staying on. Excellent likeness. Excellent likeness to McCoy. I love this guy. I love how short he is. That's accurate and I love that. Great trousers. Great question mark detailing. Love that. A. Maybe even S. Maybe even. You know what? You know what? With the umbrella? S. Cowboy Smith. I mean, good likeness. But much like me... Matt Smith doesn't look good in a Stetson. <laughs> I don't know, I never liked the America look as much. I mean, I grew on it, but... That's, that's just B. Classic Auton, love this one. Got the shooty shooty gun gun. Love the classic look at these creepy mother... They have never been scarier than Spearhead. And I've not watched Spearhead, but I've seen clips and oh my god. That, I, the, the, I don't know, this figure speaks to me. It speaks to me. That might, that's either S or A. What do you guys think? I can't hear you. That's an A. That is... That is an A, I'd say. Rory Williams, Roranicus, Rory Pond. Very good likeness to Arthur Dark. Got the puffy jacket. It took us a while to get Rory, right? It took us a long time. B. Coated tenant. Better than your average tenant. I'd say that's an easy A. I love this look. Uh, I know I put regular one here, but just adding the coat does so much. I'm sorry, it's it's a fact. It's out of time squad up there now. Scarecrow! An excellent look. They nailed the detail, how scruffy and scraggly it is. It looks spectacular. I don't know, it's an A. That's an A. That's an A. I don't know how to put him up here. Is he gonna sit? He's gonna sit! Yay, he sat. Nearly done. We're nearly there. Weeping Angel, specifically Series 5, I think Time of Angels. I think this was Angel Bob, because it had the communicator, which was awesome. That's another easy A, honestly. The fact that it had the communicator as well, I like the extra detailing on everything. Thankfully he's flat, so he'll sort of sit wherever. That's another perk of the angels as well. The, much like with the Daleks, they'll just sit anywhere. Destroyed Angel, he's flipping right, because it doesn't like staying together. S. Yeah, that feels right. Can't believe I had two of them growing up. What's the point? The silence! I have both silences, one with the mouth open, one with the mouth closed. With the mouth open, F. He looks flippin' ridiculous! <gasps> this little King Charles sausage hands. <gasps> like, that's not scary. That's not. Mouth closed though, creepy as hell. Sausage fingers, like his sausage fingers are still weird. But, I love the height. Maybe people will find me on this. Hey, that's an A. Someone please bring the silence back. I wanna, I wanna see them done good. <laughs> ah, tuxedo tenant with much better hair, but somehow looks less, but somehow looks less like tenant. I don't know how you done that, but the tux looks good. It's a B. It's a B. Prisoner Zero looks amazing. Love how it can, you can sort of see through it. But what, what's that? What's that? I know, like, I guess it's supposed to like hang on the ceiling like it does in the level but. How do you do that? Is it supposed to be a sucker? Because it didn't work. F. Ah, oh, here we go. Smiler. This guy looks great. The colour purple. Underutilised. Thank you, Dom. I am shocked that you cannot rotate this one to show a different face. Let down, I'll be honest. But it does look amazing. Unfortunately, if it had the... Easy A. But as it stands, you're down there. Two left. Firstly... Well, another TARDIS, I guess I missed one. Aha! Never liked this one, didn't stand properly. Doesn't really look like her, bar the hair. Hair's good. Oh, where does she live? Nah, there's no likeness, F. And last but not least, the projected Weeping Angel, I assume from series five as well. I lost her arm, but I won't hold that against her. It's a really cool idea. I, that's weird, that has like something shoved up her skirt. Naughty, but it is cool. I like how it's got the neutral expression. That's quite creepy. Yeah It's kind of cool. Although the articulation you can see like bits of the actual figure Through it if it was just like no articulation. I I might have preferred that weirdly. Yeah B and there We have it my completed rank of everything uh, character options that I owned I guess bar the Sonics. I'm happy with that I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anything jump out as being 
particularly off. I'm curious to know your opinions on this, because I'm sure one of you will fight me on something. Oh, who am I kidding? We're Doctor Who fans. Let's continue to argue till the sun goes down. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing that. I, I, that was interesting. That was new. But yes, thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you're keen. I don't know if I'll do anything else like this. <laughs> In fact, something I can do if you're curious, I could rank all my DVDs. I've got a shit ton of Classic Who DVDs and I have all the new series up to twice upon a time. That could be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.